Okay, so apparently the big day is here. Everybody wants to know what happens when you put 16 or 32 gigs of RAM into a 660. Well, I'm not gonna put 32 in today, sorry. I don't need that much. But without even doing it, I submit to you, I claim that it'll work. Because the user manual for the B75 chipset, which is exactly what the 660 has, you can put in 16 megahertz. Uh, 1333 megahertz and 1066 megahertz. <laughs> 16 highest. Today, I'm gonna put in 16 megahertz, 16 gigs of RAM, just to give me a little bit of an edge, a little boost. But 32, you could do that too. But this is an i5 processor, so why put 32? You could. I'm gonna put in 16. So here we go. Big day is here. What happens when you put in 16? Great results or catastrophe? We're gonna find out. So that link that I have in the description to the B75 manual that I was telling you about, it's kind of the embarrassing thing today is that I still don't exactly know the the source. So if somebody knows and they could comment down below, that'd be great because for all I can tell, it's just a manufacturer of Intel motherboards. Maybe. Extreme maybe. But it looks legit. Uh, it is a legit looking reference manual, so I can, that's all I can say. Okay, here we go. These are nice sticks, I gotta say. Wow. Stuff is so nice in 2018. Click. 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 Alrighty, done so. Like a pro. ITO mates, ladies and gents. It's powered on to see what happens. And the bio says very <sighs> still. 16! Woo! Okay, so the BIOS is good. It thinks it's 1333. Holy Moses, I didn't know about that. Let's fix what's going on here. Round two. All righty, boys and girls, I've done all I can. There you have it, mates. So obviously, initially, I wanted to see if I could squeeze the full 1600 megahertz out of my RAM. But then I found this link, in which another user indicates 1033 modules running at only 1066. The funny thing is that he later posts why is it that other users report 1333 instead of... Is it because they're overclocking and doing non-standard setup? Ha! No! <laughs> I'm not. But... I had to dig deeper to figure out what's going on here. So, this other link... It turns out that the CPU... The, the, the bus RAM controller on the CPU limits the uh, RAM speed to 1333. Now, I have the i5-3330, so with the 
660 running an i5, the third gen, you're limited to 1333 megahertz. But if you have a fourth gen, somehow, I don't know if you can, because I don't know. But that would be 16 megahertz. Because it costs a lot to go up to the i7. A whole new CPU is just over 300 bucks, so maybe you don't want to do that. And then you just want to get whichever it is for you, the 1333 megahertz or the 1066. But at the end of the day, it's always up to you. It's your machine. You can do whatever you want. That's what building PCs is all about. So similarly to my SSD where I thought maybe it'll be as good as everybody else, not quite, but it's still better than what I had. So there you have it. That's the RAM upgrade to the 660, at least with the i third gen i5. So now you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, or at least I do, maybe you have 32. All I can say is, happy video editing, if that's what you're into. I don't do this very often. <laughs> See you for the next video.